Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions as we enjoy walking through the Bible together. Today I want to do something different with you. I want to read you through a psalm. I want to read you through a psalm that is not going to help everybody, but some of you, forgive me, you have fallen into some horrible, horrible sin. And you go, all right, what do I say to God when I have fallen into sin? This is what David said to God after he had fallen into the sin with Bathsheba and he was confronted by Nathan the prophet. Psalms chapter 51, beginning with verse 1. This is what you say to God after you have failed horribly. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Notice David didn't say, now God, I'm king, and look at all the good things I've done. He just said, Lord, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away my, all my iniquity, and cleanse me from sin, for I know my transgressions. He said, God, I'm not, I'm not trying to pretend anymore. I know my transgression. My sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak and are justified when you judge. David said, Lord, I'm not, I'm not trying to act like a big shot anymore. God, you're right, I'm wrong. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. There's the doctrine of original sin. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. David said, God, it's not enough that I just look right on the outside. It's not enough that I just go make it right. Fix me on the inside. You want truth to be on the inside. You, you want me clean on the inside. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will turn back to you. David said, God, I have so screwed up my life. But if you will fix me, if you'll fix me, and if you'll fix me on the inside and change me on the inside, Lord, I will go out and I will teach other people how to live right. What a beautiful truth, brothers and sisters. David said, I'll go out and teach others how to live right and I'll turn others away from their sin back to you. Brothers and sisters, if you have had a horrible failing, that's not the end. God will forgive you, God will change you, God will fix you from the inside out. And then when he has done that, you turn around and very graciously help pick up other people that have fallen into sin and bring them back to God.